Right, welcome back. Um, as you can see, we're pretty much right where we left off. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to tab into the mesh and hit A to select all. Actually, I hit A the first time. I deselected all. Let's hit it again to select all. Let's go to the right-hand side. And see this uh, little dot? That's, that's our pivot point for our object. With all the vertices selected, you can grab and move. And the pivot point pretty much stays the same. So anyway, I just wanted to do that. Shift C to recenter everything in the scene, and C to center the cursor. And let's go back. I'm trying to get it kind of in the center of the head. So All right. Maybe not. That works for me. Anyway, wasting enough time with that. Um, what we need to do <coughs> is, uh, well, we need to do a lot of things. But um, I'm about to add some eyes in here in just a second. But uh, let's uh, actually grab these vertices. If I can press the right button and smooth them. Let's just use the smooth down here so I don't have to keep hitting W. Let's go to the right and let's pull those out a little bit. There we go. It's kind of adjusting the shape just a little bit. And let's go to the front. Because I don't like these being all bunched up like this. It's not uh, it's not that it's not so clean. It just doesn't look so clean. Uh, I don't like that, so the mesh is going to start getting messy enough as it is. Okay. And I've already been doing this a little bit, but. Now some of them you're going to have to have close together, especially as it starts going down here into the nose. You're not going to be able to, you know, change much of that. So there's almost no use in trying. Seems fair. It's a little bit uh, dome-like up here. And this is just one profile. Let's check this one out and see. That's what I mean. That's what I mean by it's just one profile. is kind of domey, but that's all right. We can get rid of that pretty easily later. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and Alt, right, right mouse button, and select that loop right there. Shift S to bring up our uh, snap cursor uh, dialog and cursor to selection. And then we're going to tab out of that. Let's actually go to the front. I'm going to add a mesh, space bar to add mesh, space, add mesh. Let's go with the UV sphere. Uh, 32 segments is not what I want. It's just overkill. I'll do 32 by 16. And scale, make it uh, 0.4. Okay, let's just scale that down a little bit. Tab out of that. Let's go to the right. Let's grab it. Move it back on Y. Right about there. Let's grab it. And move it on X very little. There we go. So now let's, uh, <clears throat> actually I want to set that as smooth, so, whoops. 
set smooth. <laughs> set smooth. Yeah, it's supposed to be set smooth, but anyway. Let's grab our mesh. Hang on, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. <clears throat> so grab our mesh. Let's go into edit mode. Let's go ahead and um, let's actually turn on backside so I can see a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the widget to kind of pull these forward. I already got a shape that I was pretty fond of. It might not have been the best shape, but it was a shape that I wanted. So I'm just going to grab these and pull them forward until they just barely pop out of the mesh. There we go. And when I mean the mesh, I mean the mesh that is the uh, sphere. Pull these back. Okay. So let's turn off backside and see what that net us. Okay, we still have one right there. There we go. Okay, so let's go to the front. And just trying to see how well it's centered. Well, actually, I shouldn't have done that because I need to move this up a little bit higher. So we need to basically do everything again. And I should probably move the uh, eye back a little bit. But it won't be a problem. We can just select the whole whole loop then and move it back along with the eye. Not simultaneously because they're separate pieces of geometry, but... Okay. And overall that looks okay. Let's go to the right hand side. It looks like it might be a little bit high, which means the forehead's a little bit big, or the mouth's a little bit low, or there's something going on with actually the mouth nose region that needs a little bit of work. That's uh, we'll just leave it like that for right now. So let's go to the side, and I'm gonna kind of pull this stuff out just a little bit. Too carried away because these are going to need to be adjusted also um, from the other side, which is the front. And it looks like they don't really need too much. Okay. Actually, go to the side, kind of pull these in a little, take these down a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> it's a little bit better, very round. that out. There we go. Whoops, hit the wrong button. I meant to hit shift. Anyway, so let's get in there on the eye and I'm going to um, add a loop. I'm going to take it right in there. I mean, when I mean right in there, I mean just right in there. All the way up to it and then just pull it forward. You see it creates that little lip right there. Okay. I'm going to tab out of that. I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, layer of subsurf just so we can look at it and say, yep, that's what we've got. I'll apply it during edit mode. Let's tab back in. 
let's add another level so it's nice and smooth okay and this way we can also kind of see where it's mushy like right here on the sides a little bit better. Okay. I'm okay with that. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add uh, another loop. Like it's so hard to believe. I'm just going to pull it in fairly close. And I'm going to pull it all but these corners. Let's leave those. Let's pull it back on Y. Okay. Let's scale it up on Z. There we go. Let's look at that from the front. Let's see what happens if we rotate it a little bit. Uh, not sure. Because we can, you know, play with it a little bit, but I guess for now we'll just leave it. Let's go ahead and put uh, another loop in there. Right about halfway. And let's go to the right. Let's scale that up on Z a little as well pull it forward a little bit. There we go. Let's grow that selection. Control plus. And I'm going to use Alt Shift. Alt is, uh, I'm going to use Alt right mouse button to select the next loop, but Shift is going to add it to our selection. So let's go back to the right and let's rotate that just a little bit. Actually, let's undo that. Let's tab out of that. Select the eye. Shift S, cursor selection, and then we're going to set it to rotate around the 3D cursor. So it'll use that as a fulcrum. There we go. I want the top eyelid to stick out just a little bit further than the bottom. And select some of these and do the same thing. Okay, it's a pretty big cheek. Um, there's a lot of geometry on here that's actually kind of big. So we'll pull this part of the nose back. Okay. And I actually, um, on this nose, I actually want the geometry to flow in a little bit better. I'll kind of wrap around right here. Um, and I also want this to be a little bit more narrow in a few places. Oops, just adding some basic shape to it. And that made it pudgy. Well, let's undo that. Okay. Anyway, let's grab those, go to the side, and let's pull those up a little, and back. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see what we can do about fixing up that nose a little bit. Let's go to edges, first of all. Let's grab these two and hit V, so let's separate them from these two. Pull those down. Let's uh, move that over on X. 